If you just stuck to three meals a day and cut out crisps and fizzy drinks, this time next year you'd probably be loads lighter. And ten times more miserable. A whole year without crisps or orange meat. And for what, just a few kilos? My name is Michael Tejada and I'm playing Xavier. Xavier is a 13 year old boy who is Susanna's son and is on the verge of being obese. So the story kind of shows his sort of battle and how he changes his eating habits. Some of the challenges of playing Xavier are that I have to maintain that sort of arrogant middle class sort of attitude towards everything. Why do you find that difficult? I think because I'm not very, I'm not a really arrogant person. I think I have to sort of find some way of bringing that out in Xavier. Performing with a fat suit is not as easy as it looks. Um, only because it, get, it does get really hot and it, and it does start to itch a little bit. So I have to kind of take my mind off of that and concentrate on what I'm doing on the stage. So yeah, it makes me feel sort of heavier. So when I'm, I'm walking around on stage, it, I do sort of put that on, kind of that heavy, sort of slumpy sort of walking around. It helps a lot in, in the process of getting into the character because um, you can kind of visualise who you are kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, again, with the whole kind of arrogant thing, I do enjoy being rude and sort of mean to people, which is not a really nice thing to say, but it is fun to play kind of thing. Okay, so my favourite scene would be the one, the very last scene, which is with Ruby and Ruby's in the rickshaw. Um, I think that scene is just really fun because it's it shows how Zabby has changed throughout the play and it shows how his relationship with Ruby has progressed over time and it's just a really nice sort of it's just a really nice way to end the play and, and everything's all happy endings and things. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> Nowadays there are chicken shops and McDonald's and on every corner that you look at. So I think the issues that we address in the play are so important that it makes people aware of what they're eating, how they're eating it, why they're eating it, and it makes people think, and yeah, I think that's really important. I think they'll take away from play that it is important to watch what you eat, and, and that it's okay to eat some sort of like takeouts and things, but it's also really important to not eat as much. Um, so just, yeah, so just so they know how much they're eating, and how to control their sort of diet, if you will. Um, I think that's really important. Um, I don't really have an interest in science. I'm more of a sort of get up and do it kind of person. Um, so no, I've never really been interested in science, but I think I do appreciate uh, the science that is behind this play. Um, and I do understand the whole of like, biodiversity kind of thing. Um, I think that's quite interesting, but um, at school, no, not really. I've never been sciencey type of guy, so I'm a little excited. Um, actually, very excited um, because the whole cast we've all kind of come together and we're like we're like a little family, so it's really nice. And um, I've never been around England. I've always stayed. I've always stayed in London, so that's really exciting. You know, going to different places in England, getting to know them, and things and it's just yeah and it's my first tour so it's just really exciting yeah and it's good to have it's good to go with people that I'm comfortable with and yeah it's good I become really bored really easily in a journey so I will be singing I will be laughing and I'll be cracking jokes that no one will laugh at only me but you know I guess they'll just have to deal with it won't they <laughs>